We are about to board the brand new Celebrity Ascent. We are going to be one of the first passengers on board and we are beyond excited. Speaking of which, Celebrity Ascent sister ship, which is the Celebrity Beyond, is with us here today in Port Everglades. We are in Fort Lauderdale. That's where we're gonna start our cruise off. We've never been on this class of ship before. Yeah, so, so let's go. We parked right here in the parking garage. There's the Ascent right there. Weather's amazing today. We're gonna head on down the stairs now and head on into the terminal. So I just took a selfie for Instagram and I'm trying to tag the location and there's literally no tag for the Celebrity Ascent because that's how new it is. <laughs> Wow, it looks really nice in here. And it says, welcome to Celebrity Ascent. We've definitely never been in this terminal before and it's very pretty. We're gonna ascend into the ascent. Okay, we're all checked in. Now we're ascending on the gangway here. It looks so nice on board. Yeah, we're about to board right now. Thank you. Oh my God, they gave us hand towels as we boarded. You know you're on a Ritzy Cruise Line one and you get hand towels. We are some of the first passengers to ever be on board this ship. Wow, I guess this is the main lobby area. This is nice. It smells really nice in here, even though we have some raw fish right here. So on the Celebrity Summit, which is the only other celebrity cruise we've been on, we did eat it raw on five yeah. and it was very tasty. But it didn't look this nice. No, so I feel like we're gonna have to find a way to maybe eat a lunch here. Yeah, we're gonna go right to our rooms now because nobody has ever stayed in our rooms before, so they are ready as soon as we board here. Should we go in here? I don't know what this is. So this, oh, I read on the deck plans, there's like a, a pathway to eat in. This is freaky because it looks like I can go here because it's oh so clean because yeah. it's a new ship. It's like one of those mazes. Whoa, holy crap. Oh my God. This is like, the heck? this is art. This is like one of those mazes, um, like a funhouse yeah. maze. You just like, oh, yeah. whoops. <laughs> oh my God. This is really cool. Genuinely, if I didn't see light peeking out, I would walk straight into this thing. <laughs> Okay, we made it to the end of the maze. But then look at this. Look, there's already mold growing on this ship. I thought this was brand new. It's not mold. I know, I'm joking. Is this just chocolates right here? Yeah, just random chocolates. A display of chocolates as if they're like diamonds? Oh, they're like $10 each? That one's $50. Wait, so two pieces is $10. Yeah. And that one is the same, two pieces for 10, two pieces for 10. I like. It's like, we've been on ships where they have like a counter of like diamonds, but never chocolates. I, I like I like this better. Yeah, I like this a lot better. Okay, we were gonna find our room, but I think- We got distracted. We got distracted. I think we're just gonna go find the Eden now. Which Can is I right sit here. in this? It's very tall. That's cool. This is cool. So we're entering the Eden now. This, it looks like this is like a picture, but no, this is real- Moss. On Royal Caribbean, they have a venue called 270. And from what I gather, this is basically the celebrity version of 270. Yeah, look at those chairs. Wow, it's like flowers. Okay, so wow. Eden has a cafe that's open for breakfast and lunch, but not on boarding day, and I believe this okay. is it, which is similar to- To Cafe 270. 270. Exactly. It really does remind me of 270, but it's like a nicer version, but it's also a restaurant, yeah. I guess. So down here is the Eden restaurant, which I believe wow. day four is where we're eating for dinner. Okay, I like how there's all the, the chairs and tables with a view up there. And I like how... Should we go up there? Yeah. I like how they've infused nature. There's a lot of plants and greenery in here. It feels yeah. really neat. So we could go up these stairs to get up to the second level, or we could take this ramp here. Gotta take the ramp. Look at these. Every piece of furniture is like art in yeah. here. And we're in the very aft of the ship here. So if we were moving, we would see the wake going out. Even the benches have like little tables. It's so nice. Oh, this is actually cool. Yeah. Now we've never been on a different celebrity edge class yeah. ship. This is our first edge class. So we don't know, are all the Edens like this or is it just because it's a brand new ship? I don't know. I think they're probably similar, but because this is the newest, I think it's the coolest. I don't really know though. Oh look, they have menus. Oh. Let's Here's see if they menu. have mocktails. That's how much non-alcoholic they have. At least they have Red Bull though. So Wow, look, this one comes in a planter. Oh my God. That's kind of cool. Wow. That one cool. comes in a box. It looks like they're um, just like drinks. No food here during the day, I guess. We're kind of going like off the edge of the ship. If you look like 
beyond yeah. there. <laughs> Let me just use all the, the names of the ships in one sentence. Okay, so here's the second floor or deck of Eden. Pork belly sliders, chicken pesto, roasted turkey and cranberry ciabatta. So here's where they will have the food when it's not boarding day. But look, there's even an outdoor seating area for the- Oh, that's so neat. Yeah, the Eden Cafe outdoor seating. Should we just go out here? Sure. And get lost? Yeah. <laughs> wow, so that's the bubble we were in. And there's the beyond. Hi, Captain Kate. Hi, Captain Kate, if she's there. And Bug. Yeah, there might be a furless cat on board that ship. So we're trying to find our rooms. Um, nobody has been on the ship before. We're the first passengers on the ship. So nobody has been in our room before. Nobody stayed in our room. Nobody slept on our bed. Nobody, no one showered yeah. in our shower. Unless there was a construction worker who took a nap in our bed. <laughs> or maybe a crew member who was stationed there for the transatlantic. Maybe, but if there weren't crew, we will be the first people to sleep on this bed. Normally you have to wait a little bit um, after boarding to go into your room, but because the rooms are ready. They've been ready. We're gonna go find it right now. Okay, here's our room. We are on deck seven. We're room 7121. <gasps> go ahead. Ooh. I don't wanna look. Oh, the bed is right by the window. Oh, that's actually better. Even this entryway is like wider. It is, yeah. There's no closet right here. No, but so this is the bathroom. Should we just look at the bathroom while we're... Yeah. There's some coral. Let's go wow. Down. Okay. It smells very new in here, by the way. Oh it my like God, it's so nice. Whoa. Even this is like bigger than one of the typical like bubble showers. And this is so clean and wow. big. Okay. This is- Look how classy. This actually looks really nice. Um, it, it is completely spotless in here. It's so shiny. Like, it, look at this. It smells like, almost like a Home Depot or something. <laughs> Okay, but I think our closet is right here on the right. Which I think is a really smart, I'm gonna open this one. Nope, you can't, yes you can, yes. Okay. Oh, so that opens too, okay. So this so is a much smarter location, I think, to put this. Wow. So it's like almost like the unit of like the closet and the, the bathroom right yeah. there. Yeah, is this a storage thing? Wow. Oh, oh wow. That's actually, that's actually really nice. Oh, does that open too? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, they did a really smart design here because it looks so sleek. It is so sleek. But there's so, so much storage. And it's so modern looking too. Look at this couch. Yeah. I gotta take this off. Yeah, me too. I think this is like the most modern- For sure. Room we've ever seen. Okay, so Celebrity is interesting because their fridges come fully stocked. Yeah, they do they, charge you. They charge you. So there's an itemized. Nice. And they do put a bag of chips in the fridge to keep it nice and cold. So how much? It costs more money to drink the water than it does to drink the soda. How much is like a soda? Four dollars. Okay, that's not crazy. I mean, let's just go get them at the bar. I know. Wait, what is this thing? Is this for charging? Stuff? Yes. Oh, oh okay, smart. okay. That's so th the smartest thing I've ever seen. Oh and so they leave a little gap for your charger cord to go through. Ah, oh, so clean. We got our little uh, celebrity today, which is like the cruise compass. How come this bed seems like bigger than a normal bed? Do you agree with that? Oh my God, wait, let's test the bed. Oh yeah, the vent. It's firm, but it's comfy. Okay. Firm but comfy. It looks- I think I usually am pickier than you are. It looks like this might be a king instead of like a queen. Yeah, I wonder. I, I, I'm, I'm the better judge of the mattress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's not, I would give it maybe like a. It's like a six out of 10. It's a little, I was gonna say six, it's like a little above average, I yeah. think. I think this is fine. I'd like something softer, but this is still good. It's still good. Um, and we got the TV. It's very flat against the wall. Right here. It's like one of those frame TVs, basically. Wait, what language is this? Is this? Bonjour, Carriette Brian. Oh, is this in French? Yes. Wait, was this ship built in France? Possibly. I heard a lot of crew speaking French. Okay, we can probably change that. Um, but this is a standard veranda room. So this is not any sort of suite or concierge clash. It looks class. cool out on the veranda though. Yeah, let's check this out. 
It, it's oh, it's it's kind of uh, it's not narrow. that narrow. But they did a lot everything, with the space okay. that they were given. Everything is just so like clean. It is so. It doesn't new. squeak when you. It open doesn't it. squeak. I, I'm like everything is completely spotless and just even just like it just glides. Over. So like normally weird. you might have to be like. Ugh. It's just like so I can do it with I can I can do it with my pinky. <laughs> Okay, but look how it's it's narrow, but they use the space narrow. so well. Cause look at these chairs and then the table. And this porthole this, thing is cool. So this is um, I don't I don't know what they call this. We're kind of like near the front of the ship. Yeah. This is glass here. I know it's very clean, so you might not be able to tell. <laughs> but like this is open. And it reminds me of the Navigator veranda on Disney. Yeah. That so, we've never had. Yeah. It's kind of it's almost like a porthole. But outside, I don't know. Yeah. It's cool. I think this will provide a lot of shade. Yes. But I am a little surprised how narrow this is. Or not, it's not deep, I should say. I don't know. You I know what I mean? Uh, you can't turn the chair. I but I mean, my knees almost touch here. This style of balcony, I believe, is only found on the forward and the aft. Like very, yeah. very forward, very, very aft of the ship. That makes sense. It looks like this connects to the room next to us. Mm -hmm. The chairs are nice. They're very nice, they're very cushiony. But I mean, with how, um, what's the opposite of deep? Narrow. Shallow. Okay, shallow. With how, with how shallow it is, um, you really can't. Sprawl. I mean, out. maybe you could like turn the chair this yeah, way. Yeah, the way that it came. Up. <laughs> what? I said, yeah, the way that it came. <laughs> yeah, I think it's it. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. I, I it's as I, I thought like everything was gonna be like sparkling and like, it's like new and I fresh. Know. It's better. This is this is fresh off the shipyard. Yeah. It just left the shipyard. Like, it crossed the Atlantic, left the shipyard, crossed the Atlantic, and now it's here. It doesn't get any newer than this. No. Carrie's Carrie's running to be the first to ever use the toilet. <laughs> but here's I just wanted to show a shot of here's what the the whole room looks like from this angle from the window here. As I was using the bathroom, I was analyzing what I could, and I was thinking, like, I wonder if this is a drawer. Is it? Oh, wow. Look how oh. cool. So the hair dryer's in here, and they have a plug in here. I wonder if you're actually allowed to, like, use oh. it. Usually you're not allowed to use plugs in the bathroom. But I wonder how many people will actually find this, because it seems very hidden. Or is that just me? Um... Nobody else will find it. Yeah, it's just um, us. This is really, really nice. This um, is huge. I mean, look how long the sink is. I'm I gonna mean, get in here. This is a standard veranda room. So normally you're not gonna get a bathroom that's this big well, or nice. I really, I like this little alcove because then when you're like washing your hair. Yeah. And you have a little um, step over there. <laughs> <laughs> That looks like a nice shower. It's really nice. Here, let, let's see. I'll test it out. Brian's six foot. I'm tall. stepping into this brand new shower with shoes on. Mm -hmm. That seems like it should be a crime. It is. Okay, so I'm, I'm six foot. So. Also, that, that shower head can be adjusted. This is really tall. Yeah, and we had to step up to get into it. This this is much taller than normal. Yeah. Wow. That's nice. This this is... Um, I enjoy this room. For, for a standard... Like we didn't want to pay more for like a nicer room because they're expensive, but like we were a little worried about the size of the room, but this it's, is it's huge. I think the only negative I would say is the closet space. I actually like, think that they're they used it really smartly. I think we're gonna roll our um Yeah, our luggage cases, under or yeah, our luggage underneath. There's also the drawers here. Yeah, we haven't even looked at these. Ooh. What does that say? Art book. Oh, art book. That's like fancy graphic design. You find that on Pinterest all the time. Ooh, I like the separation of the drawers. Yeah. So you can have, you know, like a little bit of separation organization. We got our room service menu. We'll be using that. Um, no, I think that they, that like these, this cabinet and this cabinet, I think this is a smart use of space. Yeah. Maybe they could have added like a drawer under the couch or something. So I just opened up this safe just to like check it out and I'm like, wait, what is this? Oh, this is the user manual. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's so funny because nobody's used this yet. That's hilarious. I'll just like leave that in there. <laughs> I think so far 
our room beats my expectations. Me too. I, because we chose like the cheapest veranda possible. I was expecting it to not be good because we chose the cheapest yeah. veranda, but it, it's very good. Yeah, I want to check out the pool deck. Yeah. And then check out the food. <laughs> of course. That's a typical boarding day tradition. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we just found the solarium, which I'm assuming is like royal and it's adults only. Oh, it is fully enclosed. Wow, look at the chairs. Yeah, these chairs look really cushiony. They have the chairs in the pool too. Chairs in the pool, towels on the chairs. Two hot tubs on either side. Oh my God, I didn't even notice that. This pool is really cool. I'm ready to get in. I think over there is the spa cafe. Oh really? I haven't seen any videos or photos or maybe a couple of photos from edge class ships but i haven't seen any videos from edge class i so i didn't know that this existed and this is amazing look at the towels that you can just grab free for the tea you don't have to check them out they're right there so we just exited the solarium and there's this crazy tunnel i think if i have seen a picture of an edge class ship yeah. it's this oh my god this is kind of cool so that, that's the magic carpet right there wow this thing ha hangs off the edge of the ship and it moves up and down let's go on it yeah is miss frizzle there <laughs> that's the magic school bus oh. <laughs> you can always tell it's an edge class ship because there's this big orange thing now this hasn't been stress test <laughs> so <laughs> wow so this is a restaurant at night i think and i guess during the day it is a bar slash lounge and I guess it moves up and down. Like while you're eating or I'm not really sure. I think it parks. I'm not entirely sure. So it stays in one spot. Yeah. But yeah, as you can see, we are literally hanging off the edge here. Wow, that's kind of crazy. Like obviously when we're not in port, this would just be the ocean right down there. You can so, see how much we ha we're hanging off the side. You can also see the difference between a regular balcony and an infinite balcony right here. Oh, yeah. These guys have regular balconies, and then right below is the infinite. And we can kind of see into their balcony. That's true. I think they call those, there's certain rooms on board that are like magic carpet yeah. rooms, and they almost make it seem like it's cool that the magic carpet goes. Or just like a warning. Yeah. I don't know. Honestly, this is much bigger than I thought it would be. Like this goes really far down. This is like a whole lounge. I thought yeah. it would be small. I was, I guess I was picturing the elevator on Oasis class. Yeah. What's yeah. that called? The Rising Tide Bar. My God, it's so nice. On the, like just all the furniture yeah. and the decorations. This ship is really nice. I stand by every piece of furniture is art on this yeah. ship. Look at that. Oh my God. This, there's like a pit. There's like a sunken, lounge area we're right by the main pool now look how cool the little pathway is oh my god we need to go walk on that yeah and then i think these little like martini cup things are hot tubs so you can reserve a little cabana area and i think it comes with like maybe champagne yeah it looks like it like they have a bucket ready for it and they give you like um oh it says it right here what's included there you go water beer soft drinks we thought it wasn't worth it because it seems like what's included is mostly alcohol. Yeah. But it is kind of cool. So it's your own spot on the pool deck here. This pool is so long. You could literally do laps. This is the longest pool I've ever seen on a ship. I Me think. too. Okay, we came up one level. We're gonna walk all the way up there and get a bird's eye view of the pool. We got a little octopus here. He's our friend. But so this is the walking slash running path. And what's interesting is it starts on this level and it goes up a level. So this walking track has some elevation to it. it. There's an incline. Yeah, this, so this inclines to the next deck. It's kind of cool, cause you, so you don't have to take the stairs. Yeah, I'm very intrigued because they're losing out on some um, like sun deck space. Cause oh. on this side, they normally would have sun, sun chairs. Yeah. But also if you look over there, the chairs are grouped in twos, which is really nice. Instead of being just like jam packed together. Yeah, this ship is so nice. I am kind of blown away by how nice this is. I really am too. It's very exciting being on board. Like this is our first time being on a maiden voyage sailing. Yeah. And what's weird about this sailing is that technically the maiden voyage is a week and a half from now. They're doing but, preview cruising. But this is a preview cruise. So technically, if you look at the, dic the dictionary's <laughs> definition <laughs> of maiden voyage, this is the this maiden is voyage it. because it's the first sailing with passengers. But I guess for marketing reasons, they're having their official maiden voyage a week and a half from now. 
Probably the president so, was busy. <laughs> so that we're, I guess we are like on a little preview sailing here, which it is very exciting. There's, there's a really cool vibe to being yeah. like the first people on a ship. This, this is amazing. This is one of those like martini glass hot tubs. Yeah. Look at the view. And this is so cool. Even just like the steps in seems really neat. Yeah, that's what we're looking at. So over there's the other one. It has like a really cool like pillar that it comes down into. There's a bar right down here and I like they have like little loungy areas around it. I am I am so impressed with the ship so far. Look at the, the bar that hangs off the edge of the pool. Oh yeah, like right down there. That's cool. Yeah. So over here is the retreat. Oh, uh, we don't have access we to We don't have access to, but it looks really cool. It's basically a sweet sun deck. Shall we keep following the path of the walkway to see? Yeah. I want to see how it gets back down. Yeah. So even though this is a preview cruise, we just booked it like it was just on the website. Like you could just book it like this isn't for media or travel agents that we know of. As far as we know, everybody booked it like us and paid for it. That. Like, we don't know of them giving away cruises to this. We paid for this cruise like anybody else would. It's just a preview for anybody, for the public. Yeah. Which normally it seems like they would do a preview cruise for like media or travel agents, but this one is just... It doesn't seem like there's a whole lot of fanfare for this one. It's just anybody who's anyone can be on. Yeah, I mean, the, the cruise director just made an announcement saying, you know, you guys are the first people on this ship. Um, but beyond that, I don't know if there's really any ceremonies or anything. That's probably going to happen at the actual maiden voyage in a week and a half from now. They'll maybe do like a na naming ceremony or something. This is just such a cool shot with the walkway going down and the beach back there. It's cool. And then look at the giant ascent sign. Yeah, let's go check that out. Ascent. What's down there? Uh, this is the rooftop garden. There's plunge pools, there's a bear, oh and it's really cool. <laughs> Wait, at first I thought this was for sweets, but this is... No, this is for us. Oh my God. This is where amazing. we're eating dinner tonight. Oh my God. There's a grizzly bear holding a, holding a girl hostage. No, she's dancing, she's happy. Oh. No, I want to continue on the, the walking path because that seems like how we get there. I had no idea. We're still on this winding running track. I had no idea that now we're going down to a different level. <laughs> this is crazy. It's so cool. Look, good effort, three laps. Go a bit further, five laps. Wow. So now we're heading into the garden? Yes. Okay, we took the running track down to the rooftop garden. This is where our bear friend is. Here, hold me, hold me like, like that. Okay. And I'll... So there's places to sit and then there's a TV. So I guess they probably play movies at night maybe. Wow, and this is the... This, this is dinner. The, what is it, the garden? Rooftop grill? garden grill. Garden grill, I thought that was at Epcot. Me too. Here. We're right in the aft now. This is the sunset bar. Look how classy the coloring is. Yeah. Like when you go on Royal, not that there's anything wrong with it, it's very bright, bright colors. colors, like pinks and like aqua blues. Yeah. But these are very subtle and very, very fancy, very yeah. nice. So yeah, I think down there. So down there is the ocean view. Cafe, cafe which basically is the wind jammer. The buffet, so we that's what we need right now. Okay, we're gonna try out the Ocean View Cafe. This is the buffet. Looks really nice so far. Come, washy washy with me. Thank you. This is the nicest hand washing station ever. I have never seen such a nice, it's so, <laughs> the ceilings are like really high in here too. It feels so open. I'm, I'm impressed by everything on this ship. The first thing on the buffet line is scoops. I really like that they're starting with, with ice cream. With hard scooped ice cream. As it should be. It feels so open. It really does. Like the, the what is this? The pathway is yeah. huge. And then the ceilings are high. So it feels so nice and big. It's so airy and bright. It, it seems massive in here. Bunch of bread. I think that's for display only. Once again, starting with dessert. Oh my God. Yeah, starting with dessert, I feel like our other celebrity ship did the same thing. <laughs> oh my god, look how big this place is. This is huge. This is, I'm so impressed by this. I actually feel like I'm in a mall, but in a good way. Like this is yeah. a gigantic it's, food. It's not cramped at all. Yeah. 
Okay, they're making a Caesar salad and a big block of Parmesan. Wow. <laughs> it looks so cool. It does yeah. look cool. They have a carving station for roasted vegetables. For vegetables. I've never seen that. This is a vegetarian's dream. <laughs> okay, they had a ton of options. I am very impressed. Yes. What did you end up getting? So they had like build your own pasta. Yeah. So you could like pick your type. They had spaghetti, penne, I think fusilli. And then they had options for bolognese, alfredo, meatball, and I feel like one other. But I got penne bolognese. I also found roasted potatoes and fresh pizza. They have like um, a freshly baked pizza bar right over there. It's amazing. It is amazing. And I got a slice of vegetable pizza and pepperoni and they also had garlic bread. Did you see that? I did not see that. Yeah, I got one of those too. And um, this is a roast beef sandwich. So far, I am very impressed with this ship. Like, I mean, the last celebrity ship that we sailed on was the Summit and that ship is like 25 years old. So this is like, this is really nice. I am kind of blown away by this ship so far. So I just got some more pizza. One of them is for Carrie. Yeah, so he's not a complete pig. Um, but the vegetable is really good. I think it's just like peppers and onions. This is the best free- Included. Included pizza on a ship I've ever had. I think the only Gio pizza we've had that beats it is Giovanni's. Giovanni's Kitchen, which is an extra charge, yep. is better. But this beats the pizza, this beats, I'm sorry to say, it beats Sorrento's. Sorry, Sorrento's. Uh, the Disney pizza yep. by far. Yeah. This, it is it's so good pizza. Good. It's very it fluffy and like you can taste the freshness. It is so fresh. It is so good. Everything I've tasted is good. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm not kidding. I am, I can't say it enough. I'm blown away by this ship. I really am too. I hope it continues because this is, this is a four night cruise. Mm -hmm. I hope we continue to feel this way, but like. Yeah, we didn't. Uh, we, did, we forgot to mention that this is, yeah, we're on it for four nights. We have a day at sea tomorrow, then Cozumel. Might stay on the ship, I don't know. And then a day at sea again, and then... We have to yeah. get off, but I don't want Just to because it's... Don't think about that part, but um, so far this is... It's incredible. It's a really good first impression for me. Me too. I'm kind of shocked. When we went on the Celebrity Summit, we were kind of in this boat of like... Huh? Boat. <laughs> <laughs> we were like, you know, celebrity isn't like my top priority of going back on it. Like we went on a summit. I don't know if I'll go back. I'm so glad we came back. I'm like, I want to book an, another Let's edge class. All the edge class ships. Yeah. I want to become a celebrity girl. I know. How was your... It's been like you already a couple are, hours. You already are a celebrity. <laughs> okay, how was your pasta though? The pasta was so good. At first I was thinking like, why don't they just have pasta that you can scoop for yourself why does it have to be like make your own they like mix it up in a, a frying pan for you and like make it with your type of pasta and your type of filling. make it all hot and they make it all hot and fresh and it all sticks together and it was so good it was so good and well, you're thinking it's just pasta it doesn't matter it's really good let's go explore more of the ship there's still so much that we haven't seen there yet. really is Okay, we're heading to our mustard check-in station. I literally just had to ask Brian if this was <laughs> real. Look how nice the screen is. This is the theater. Our station is in the theater. This is insane. Wow. The detail of the screen is so good that it, it does look like it's real. I literally thought this was an aquarium. Oh my God. This is a cool theater. I really like the circularness of it. Oh my God, imagine sitting like all the way over there. <laughs> Like on the far edge. Yeah. That would be a unique view of the show. So just like Royal Caribbean, you just watch the safety video on the app, and then you just have to find your station where A4, and then they just scan your seat pass, and then you head on your way. You don't have to meet all at the same time. So we're on deck four now. We just left the theater for our mustard check-in. So I guess this is the shop. This is the gift shop. This is almost like the promenade <gasps> area. Let's scope out what oh, we're getting. They have hoodies. Do they, is it a full zip? Yes, they have dear. a full zip hoodie. And it says a scent. I need that. <laughs> Look I, at it. And they have a gray one too. Oh I my God. This thing. store actually looks cool. Look how preppy and cool that sweatshirt is. Okay, as soon as we leave port. Wait, look how nice this is. The ship model. It's like made out of crystal, it looks like. Can we buy the whole store? This actually looks like good merchandise. 
Let's buy the whole store. Oh, wait, it says Ascent inaugural season and stuff. Wow. Oh my god. The zip says it. It says inaugural season. Wow. Okay. I like how we're like in between like. I know. Design. I don't even know if we're supposed to be here, but I don't care. <laughs> I like this blue jacket, the like athletic looking one, but I don't know if it says cool stuff. The merchandise actually looks cool. This looks like a cool gift shop. I'm obsessed. Look at yeah. that ship model that has like the... The magic carpet. I wonder if the magic carpet moves on the model. Please, if it moves, no, I'm, get it. I'm getting it either way, I think. Okay, this looks cool. Yeah. And I'm obsessed with celebrity now. Yeah, me too. So we need more of this merch. Yeah, what is that thing on the floor? Oh, it's the aquarium that we just saw. That's fun. Okay, so this is a live view. Of, um, this is a glass bottom boat. Yeah, this is exactly what's happening underneath the ship right now. Yeah, manatee just uh, flew by. <laughs> <laughs> so here's future cruise, which we're, we're... Oh, now there's whales. Is this Alaska or... <laughs> future cruise is right here and we need to go because we got to book 12 other edge yeah. class ships. <laughs> I wonder if they're all this nice or if it's just a scent. I'm sure they're all this nice. I'm sure they are. But this is kind of like a... It's not really a, the promenade. It's more of like... The shopping district. Which like goes from the forward to the aft, I'm guessing. Wow. They're all kind of connected. All the shops. They have like separate identities. Yes, look at these cakes. Ugh. Oh my god. Ugh. Look at the cookies. Chocolate coffee cake. They have a gluten-free chocolate chip cookie and a regular one, so that's nice. And the chocolate chip cookie actually looks good. Yeah, I might actually need one. I think we should try it. Yeah. What is this? I don't even know what this, this is. This is probably Cafe Al... Baco? I, I don't know how to pronounce it. So that was Cafe El Banco? Cafe El Bacio. I don't know. <laughs> the chocolate chip cookies looked really good. Yeah. So we have to try it. Of course. It tastes exactly like those chocolate chip cookies that are in the green bag. The Tates. Oh. Are those gluten free? I think so. It tastes exactly like that. Wow. I wonder if he gave you the gluten free one. I don't think so. But this is like, we're in like the main. What would you call it, like atrium, lobby? I don't know. Atrium, kind of like the promenade on Royal, but different. Okay, so right off of the atrium here on the one deck up, we have this place, which is Craft Social. And it seems like it's sort of like a mini Playmaker. It's the Playmakers of Celebrity. Yeah. It's got games on, and then they have small bites on the menu. Yeah, just like Playmakers does. and. Tomorrow's Thanksgiving, so maybe they'll have the football games on here. So I think we might come here for lunch tomorrow, watch the games, and then it's right next to the casino, which is kind of how Playmakers is too. It smells like brand new electronics in here in the casino. Um, now, obviously nobody has ever played these slot machines before, so it makes me wonder... Are any of them primed good? to win? Yeah, are they not ready to win, or is that better? Like, is it... Like, or should we not play the slot machines because they're not ready? Or is it like better odds? I don't know, you know what I mean? We should Google that before we start playing. Know. Yeah. Like we said before, we haven't been on any other edge class ships, but apparently I read this is a redesigned casino. This is like a different design. I mean, we wouldn't know, but um, it almost, oh, there's lights. There's like, how is that? Oh, there's like little lights. I think it's coming from underneath the felt. Oh. Yeah. But, um, I'm not sure what it used to look like or if this is a redesign. I, I read that online, so I, I don't really know. Maybe once it's in action, we'll kind of see like, oh, that's different. Well, I think it's like a la the layout is supposed to be different. This is like, doesn't the, the, the board seems like misprinted. Like it's on. Oh my God. Like this is shorter than this is. It is. It's like cattywampus. Very cattywampus. And then like, that's where they're supposed to put the. the yeah, that's not, I don't. I think they need to fix the felt on this too. Yeah, let's go look at the other one, see if it's the same. Also, but is it backwards? Because because all those bets oh God, are supposed to be on this side. You're right, the felt is backwards. <laughs> the players are supposed to be able to put... And also, the, like, the words... This is a... The, the felt is backwards. Oh my god. Is because that's supposed to be where the seat... These things are supposed to be where the seats are. Not where the dealer is. It's like a misprint from the factory. I wonder what they're gonna do here. Because, yeah, this seems wrong. I'm pretty sure they could refelt it. They're gonna have to fix that, though. That's really funny. Look, this one I think is better. Okay. 
See, this is what it's supposed to look. Oh my god! And look, you can see like the the little thing isn't messed up on this one, yeah. and like it isn't. This is all even. Yeah. On this side. See, and the chairs are here. And that is so funny. Yeah, that is funny. This is kind of crazy to be on a brand new casino on a brand new ship. I really want to Google if it's like safe to play these slot machines that have never been played before. We should. Because it's like, what, like, will it hit a jackpot like the first time it's ever played? Like, I don't think it would, <laughs> but I don't know. So I think the casino looks really nice. I don't know if that's just, uh, I'm thinking that because they told me that it was a redesign. <laughs> By the way, something I really like about Celebrity is fleet wide on Celebrity, there is no smoking in the casino. And I so. feel like maybe that was a new decision because when we were on Summit, you could still kind of smell that like oh, at like, one point, maybe yeah. there was smoking, but here obviously oh, brand a, new ship. That's a good there's point. There's not even an ounce of there smoking. There has never been anyone smoking in this casino. Yeah. By the way, my prediction is in five years, Royal Caribbean is not gonna allow smoking either. All cruise lines maybe. Yeah. At least in the casino. We were just like exploring the ship. We just like walked down this random hallway. This seems like maybe an art gallery or this is just here for like noise cancellation, but look behind it. So behind here, it, this looks like the raw wall of the ship, like the steel. You can see that like, they like wrote notes like, on it. Look, you can see the welding here. Yeah. And there's a mirror on the floor and on the ceiling. It doesn't go all the way. But look at those notes. Look at these notes. This looks like this is the actual steel of the ship. And it and this is like open for us to look at here. Do you think that that's on purpose? Or do you think that they're going to be putting some other material on I think on this, top? Is, this is on purpose to show us what, what the side of the ship actually looks like without walls. I really like it as like yeah. a cruise nerd. I think it's cool. I think it's really cool. Okay, so we just stumbled upon the club. This seems like it's like the activity center of the ship. Like when you go on the app and you look through all the activities, a lot of them are happening in here. Like trivia and yeah. other things like that. Um, it kind of reminds me of the music hall on like Anthem Innovation because it's, it's two story. I would, like, it's unsuspecting how big this is going to be when you come in here. There's like TV screens up there. Wow, it even goes back there too. They have a little bar right there. Very cool. This is the only type of club I go to. <laughs> Something with bingo. Exactly. <laughs> Trivia. So up in the club, we have some uh, Pac-Man or some, I guess, a lot of different classic arcade games and foosball and golden tea. <laughs> oh, and look at these nooks. Yeah. But if like you really want to be secretive in your trivia team, Oh. You can be in this little nook right here. It's nice. Is it? Okay, we came up to the garden. We're in the plunge pool. X marks the spot in the plunge pool. Yeah, the temperature's nice. We've been like hot all day. I know. So it's nice to cool off. We've been running around all day, so it's really nice. Oh, it feels really good here. This is so cool. <laughs> I know, it's, it's about to happen. Like, it doesn't seem as scary right now because there's land, but in about 30 minutes, it's gonna be the sea. Do they know the outer plunge pool? Oh, it's on the other side. Oh, it's probably on the other side, that's why. Okay, we moved over to the hot tub. The little uh, champagne glass hot tub. Excellent view. Yeah, we needed to warm up a little bit. So we got a great view of the pool deck. I can't believe how how big this pool is, by the way. It's huge. It's Olympic size. Is it actually Olympic size? No, but they're holding an Olympic Games later on in the cruise. Wow. Okay, we've officially started to sail away. Oh, yeah. Can Moving see. very slowly, but, but soon we'll be going out of that channel over there. What's crazy is that mansion over there has its own flow rider. And this ship doesn't have one, so no. maybe we should go to that mansion. But isn't it crazy that they have a floor right there? Yeah. It's like, crazy dangerous. He has, that, whoever owns that mansion has their own personal flow rider. They must be really good. Honestly, that's like a dream. I would I would get so good at that thing. No, you, you have injuries. <laughs> This is crazy because this is the first time this ship has set sail with passengers. And we're How many it. times can we say it? And that helicopter over there is probably taking footage for the news. So this is the second time we're on the news. Yeah. 
We have a tugboat spraying water to celebrate us leaving for the first time. Look at that, that's crazy. We have never seen a tugboat do this. This is crazy. He's doing donuts. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, good thing we're not in the back of the ship there. We would be getting wet. That thing can do donuts fast. That is so awesome. I think he's spraying that. They're probably getting some good footage with the helicopter over there of us leaving for the first time. There's some people with Mickey hands in the balconies over there. You see that? <laughs> wow, that would be a cool beach to go to sometime. Watch the ship sail away. Oh, look at those huge hands over there. See it? The paper. Yeah. We're walking back to our room, and I just wanted to point out that even though we're in this indoor pool area, it does not smell like chlorine at all. And it's very tranquil and quiet. Yeah, and I think it's because it's so new, it doesn't have that, that odor in here. Agreed. Okay, Black Friday is in two days, but we're gonna bust down the doors early and get some of the celebrity merchandise. Let's see what they have. Yeah, all the celebrity gear is over here. So this is the best shop. Wow, it's busy already. I'm just gonna take this. Yeah, this says celebrity sent inaugural okay. season. That's, That's kind of cool. cool. And then they have this inaugural season jacket. I really like that. And these hats, inaugural season. Okay, so let's see if the model does go up and down. It does. <laughs> it does. I think I need this. That's so cool. Oh, that is really cool. Oh my god, I'm getting that. They even have this mug. It's not a not a name brand turbo, so I probably won't get that. But inaugural season, the shirt. I kind of like it, the color, the dark one. Yeah, that one's kind of cool. What did you get from the store? It was crazy in there. Stuff was selling out. So we had to get what we got. I got the ship. He bought the entire ship. Oh. Wow. I think it's so cool that it moves. It moves. This was 65. Okay. Kind of high. Yeah, but it moves, so. Yeah. Our status is matched, um, like, because of Royal Caribbean. Yeah, so, like, because we're diamond, we're elite. On, on celebrity. on celebrity, and I really thought that we were gonna get a discount because of that, but they don't do merch they don't do, discounts. No, Royal definitely does. Yeah. Now, this doesn't say inaugural season, but I still got it. But it says a scent. And it's a full zip. It's so. very cool. This was 80. Wow. Kind of crazy. It's interesting because th the receipt says this is inaugural. So, and maybe it's an inaugural design without saying inaugural. Mm, which makes it even cooler. Yeah, and then I got one more thing. Boom. I like the color of that. I think it's cool. Yeah. Uh, on the model, like you can see the magic carpet right there, and there's that, it's like that orange design, like that ovally type design. And you know what I noticed is in her room, this pillow. Wow. This cannot be a coincidence. This looks like the magic carpet. That's funny, but that's also just like a pretty generic, like mid century modern thing. I know. So, no, 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 but I'm saying, like, I bet that that pillow or that pattern was like already made, and then. The interior designer was like, wow, that looks like the I magic know. carpet. I think either it is like they're like, oh, this is perfect or it's custom made. Wow. Either way, we're going to steal it and bring it home. Of course. I'm kidding. Yeah, we wouldn't do that. And also we noticed like the pillow is orange because of the magic carpet, the yeah. pillows on the bed. But then these people are wearing red. Yeah. It's messed up. So I got, this is a men's sweatshirt. But I got it in size small, so it'll be okay. It's a, a nice quarter zip, and it does say Celebrity Ascent inaugural season. Yeah. And if it doesn't fit, I'll give it to Brian for as a c Christmas present. <laughs> this is for men, but like it fits me pretty well. I think it looks good. It's long, but even women's stuff is long on me because I'm very petite. So I dig it. I think it looks good. Yeah, $70. Yeah, that hurt. Yeah. <laughs> it is, okay. it's also kind of long. Okay, but. But I can do this. And then it's good. Yeah. Okay. 
time for dinner. I'm hungry. Yeah, so we got the rooftop garden grill. Yeah, Epcot. Yeah. We're pretty far away from Florida already. I think that's Fort Lauderdale. And then over there is Miami, I believe. And over here is the rooftop where we are going to be eating dinner. Yeah, this is where we're going to have dinner. Oh, the plunge pool is all lit up. It's glowing. So this is the garden. It's funny, they have a garden scene on the TV right now. But uh, yeah, this is the garden and then the garden grill is right here. This is where we're gonna eat dinner. And it is a specialty restaurant. And I wonder if Chip and Dale will be there. Yeah. So technically the full name is the rooftop garden grill, not just garden grill. But we'll call it garden grill for the sake of our Disney jokes. Yeah. and. Um, so far, I love it. I love the atmosphere. I love sitting outside. Yeah, it's really cool. And I have a view of the kitchen. Yeah, I have a view of the garden and the X. <laughs> Here's the menu. I'm guessing it's just a cover charge and you get whatever you want. It's kind of what I'm thinking. Something funny is they have a WTF burger. I might have to get that just because it's funny. Of course. Over there to Brian's left is the kitchen that I was talking about. My view. And I also have a view of this handsome young man. Not many people do specialty dining on night one. Doesn't seem like many. But nobody's here yet. You know what I just thought is we're the first people to probably ever eat at this restaurant. You're so right. Unless they did a crew test. <gasps> but we're the first actual passengers to eat here. Oh my gosh, that's kind of cool to, yeah. to think about. Another thing I was thinking is like, you know, it's a preview sailing or whatever. Nothing that we've experienced so far feels incomplete. Right. Everything feels like it's finished. Like, we it doesn't feel like a preview sailing. No, we had been warned that kind of like the first sailings might have a few kinks. Oh, like the AC might not work or whatever, but like everything's perfect. Everything's amazing. I mean, it's our first night. I know. But, well, I... You know, we'll see throughout the cruise, but so far, everything... Perfection. The crew is fully trained. Yep. Like, yeah. Okay, so for tonight's dinner time question, we are answering one that has been asked frequently in many different ways by many different people. So, Shadow says, wish the uploads were faster and more consistent. Tikinko? Sorry if I'm saying that wrong. When's the next video? Make change happen says, wish you guys would post more videos a week. So what's up with that? So this is a frequently asked question. When's the next video? Why isn't it faster? Um, please file all complaints directly to our bosses. We'll yeah. put our bosses' email addresses on the screen here. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But I mean, that's basically why. Like, We come home from a cruise, and we go right to work. Uh, we work all week. And then it could be a week or two before we even see the footage that we shot and we have to put all of our little clips that we took throughout the day into one one you know 30 minute video or sometimes it's an hour um, and so it takes a long time to put all the clips together and because we work you know I'm a software engineer Gary's a graphic designer it's just we don't have time to do it as quickly as we would want to and as you guys would want to in my ideal world, we would come home from a cruise. Let's say we come home from a cruise on Monday. Monday we upload day one, Tuesday is day two, Wednesday is day three. That's my ideal scenario, but because we're working all the time, we can't do that. And we don't know when the next video is gonna be uploaded because honestly, like the second we finish a video, we upload it. And we have a lot of deadlines at work so we don't want to put deadlines on our videos, even though it would be nice if we could say when it was coming out. We just don't want the pressure and stress of something that we do, and we we make these videos and we find it a lot of fun. We don't want to put deadlines on it. So we have deadlines at work and, um, you know. Yeah. Another part of this is that because it kind of takes us a little bit longer to produce the videos because we have the job, what ends up happening is that we kind of have this like backlog of videos and so we go on all these cruises and we have them kind of like in waiting because like we're on a cruise 
like two cruises ago, yeah. and we're still making videos for that. And so then we have to get to this cruise before we can get to this cruise. And so we kind of, if you're wondering why we're posting late, that's another part of it. Um, and so I, I think that's what creates kind of this like long wait for videos sometimes. It's definitely not on purpose, by the way, too. It's not strategic in any way. No, and so this time we're doing things a little bit differently. We are um, going to... We're interrupting. We're interrupting your previously scheduled videos for this other video that's maybe a bit more timely. Like Carrie was saying, we're gonna you know, try to upload this video as quickly as possible because it is kind of timely because it's a brand new ship and it's pretty cool. People are gonna wanna see it. Uh, by the way, we just got our appetizer. This is the pulled pork sliders. Yes. With some corn on the side. And a tiny little pickle. And then what do we have here? We have the pulled pork, some sort of Slaw? and fried onion. Yum. It looks good. Let's dig in. Yeah, I'm hungry. We got our food. Yeah. And mine looks boring compared to Brian's. This is a beautiful New York strip steak, but look at Brian. Look at this burger. This is the WTF burger. How could I not get this? He he told us, he was like, do you know what WTF means? And, and we're said, like, I know. I said, on the streets, I know. I don't know about it at the restaurant. But he said, what did he say? White cheddar. So yeah, so we have thick the white, white cheddar, thick bacon, and fried onion, which is right there. And it looks so good. And there's also a WTF sauce is what it's called on there too. This looks amazing. I got fries on the side. So did I. There you got fries too. What's your uh, your steak here though? It's a New York strip cooked medium and there's I believe like a creamy pepper jus on the side. Okay, this steak is cutting like our Wagyu steak on the Wish. It's yeah. cutting like butter and it looks wow. so good. It does look really, really good. I want to pour the sauce on it. I love this restaurant already. Me too. This is the one that we're coming back to. This is like the only thing that we're repeating on this cruise. And we made the right decision. I think we really did. This looks so good. This restaurant perpetuates the notion that Celebrity Cruise Line is known for being the best at food. Yeah. That's how I feel. And Brian's burger <laughs> that he shared with me may receive a special award. Let's hear from Brian. <laughs> I don't want to be adding a lot of things to the Hall of Fame. No, I want to like, be choosy. I want it to be really special. Yeah. And I think that burger is, is at that mark. It is. The bacon was thick. The onions were crispy. The was burger so was juicy. It was so good. It kind of blew my mind. The sliders, the, the, delicious. the pork sliders for our appetizer were very, very good. Yeah. I, I love this. It's so funny because before we came here, we were like, oh, this place, we're going to love this place. And it's true. We love it. We booked it twice. I'm glad we did. So glad we did. There's dessert still to come. We're getting dessert. We're getting the cookie. And the description for the cookie is the, the one, one and only. only. And they warned us. They said it's going to take 10 minutes to, make the, to bake the cookie. So I think it's going to be worth the wait. Oh, yeah. All right. So while our cookie is baking, we got a little dessert appetizer. This is the s'mores. S'mores mason jar. Oh, OK. Here's our cookie, the one and only, as they call it. Wow. And it's this it's is just called like the cookie. This is gelato, not yeah. ice cream. Don't get it twisted. Let's see if it was worth the wait. I'm sure it was. Wow. Obviously, it's a hot cookie with, with uh, cold ice cream. So so how can it not be good? OK, here's a visualization of what dessert was best. Obviously, the cookie was better than this. Yeah. I, I don't love this, actually. This one's just fine. Yeah, it's just OK. I will definitely be getting this when we come back. Very good. This I will not get. No. But that's what's great about us coming back. We can get our favorites and we can try more things. Yeah. The rooftop garden grill is amazing. Love it. Sheer perfection. By the way, the plunge pools are glowing in the blackness of the open ocean. Scary. By the way, um, it's unlimited food. There is a cover fee. But you can order as much as you want. They were like, you want another cookie? You want more food? It's unlimited. The waiters were literally like, 
Are you guys sure you don't want another appetizer? Are you sure you don't want another entree? Do you, you don't want another side? You don't want another dessert? It's like, no, we're fine. We ordered what we wanted. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're always trying to get you to order more. But I think you could really get a good bang for your buck there if you come in with an attitude of uh, open stomach. Yeah. Okay, the pool deck at night. What? It looks amazing. It's so colorful. Wait a second. This is actually really cool. There's no one really in the hot tubs or the pool, but they're no. open, so maybe now's the time. Everybody's at dinner right now. I do think we're gonna go try to check out the show in the theater. There's a comedy show, yeah. and so I'm really excited to see what that's all about. Yeah. Okay, we made it to the theater. Here's who we're seeing tonight. Monique Marvez. So this is uh, the comedian that we're gonna see. She puts the aha and the ha ha together. Monique and Unique go hand in hand. Let's see if this is true. All right. Here we are in the theater. They made it look like a comedy club. Isn't that kind of cool? That's really cool. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, we're still gonna sit in the balcony here. Cause I'm a balcony girl. Yeah. You are an exceptionally good looking group of people. And that's, uh, that's a good way to start a boat. That's good juju. You don't want to start the boat with the ugly people. This is the first sailing. You want to sail with the good looking people. You see on other cruise lines. I'm not going to mention any names. <coughs> Carnival. I, uh, did I say that out loud? I've worked on every single cruise line. People always say, well, what are they like? What are the differences? And I tell them, and I start out, you know, at the bottom. I'm like, well, imagine if spirit air floated. <laughs> they know right away what I'm talking about. <laughs> so you guys are in a, in a wonderful, wonderful place. I was thrilled when they told me I was going to get to do the maiden voyage. Like, no one has slept in my room. <laughs> All the juju in that room you want. Have fun. Stay up late, we watch will. TV, do crazy things. The comedian was pretty good. She was. Um, she made a couple of carnival jokes, so I always appreciate that. We're back in our room. I don't think we're gonna. We're not. We're not going to. Celebrity thinks they're above Gus's, yeah. but nobody really is. But what do we have? Wow. What do we get? We have a necklace from Effie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad we at least got chocolates. Yeah. I want to oh, put dark this chocolate. In my mouth. That's cool. But um, yeah, apparently celebrity doesn't do towel animals because they think they're classier than that. I don't know. They're anti fun. That's what it yeah, is. Yeah, it's kind of anti fun. But yeah, tomorrow is a day at sea as we travel to Cosmo, but we'll be at sea all day tomorrow. And tomorrow is Thanksgiving. Woohoo! So far, I am very impressed with this ship. Edge class is amazing. It really is. The ascent is really, really nice. I'm in love with it. Yeah, and I'm glad we have a full day on board tomorrow at sea on Thanksgiving, and we will see you there.